Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of, of all things, Black Box Whiskey. I already got the pour out there, I've been giving it a try. It is whiskey in a cardboard box. Those of you out there who enjoy wines will know the name Black Box. It's one of the more common wine distributors, packagers, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure they don't have their own vineyards, but they do make a blend and they put them in these black box. And they've got a black box Chardonnay, a black box Merlot, so forth and so on. And black box, as well as the other box wines, have been criticized because everything's why would you want to drink wine out of a box? It, it sparks of, dare I say, Franza which has a reputation of being a low-grade wine. Not that it isn't any good, it's perfectly fine, I myself like Franza, but it's on the low-grade side. And then put it with you know, cardboard, kind of adds to this cheapness, as it were. A funny thing, the laws are changing or growing, depending on how you want to think of it, when it comes to distribution. Many places now outlaw glass leaving you to package either in a can or in a box. The reason why is that many people say go on beaches or in parks, they will go out and barefoot and then slash their feet open due to the glass that's almost transparent when it's in water. A perfect example of this, uh, trivia's sake, if you are a Hobbit fan, at least fan of the movie series, there is a scene where the character Frodo is running through the shoreline to get onto this boat to continue on with his adventuring and obviously what they don't show you is he stepped on a piece of glass and sliced himself up really bad. This is after they policed that area thought it was perfectly safe for him to be there in bare feet. Also, a proponent or pro about box over glass is that there's a bag inside Obviously, because it's cardboard, you get it wet, it'll deteriorate. So the bag inside collapses due to surrounding air pressure and everything else as you drain it of the fluid that's inside of it, meaning no air gets back in. So when it comes to wines, you, uh, you add air to it, you start changing the flavor of the wine. And anybody who's anybody who knows about spirits can attest to the same thing when it comes to their whiskeys or their gins or their their uh, vodkas. You let water get to it, you let it breathe too long, it will start to get off flavors. So by having no bottle, bottle doesn't collapse when you uh, slowly drink out of it, but a plastic bag, you assure no extra air gets in too until you finish it off. So essentially, when you open up the box and you start drinking out of it, the contents it taste largely the same from the first glass to the last. Where unlike if you had a, uh, a Magnum, a Magnum bottle of wine, that first glass is not going to taste the same as the last glass due to the fact that air has gone into it and air has interacted with the, well, the wine in this case. In this case, whiskey. Black Box has now come out with a vodka and a tequila as well. But usually, you think, all right, if it's in a box, it's going to be on the lower end. Well, you'll see. So, already been out, already been trying it. Pouring. Just, just be on the safe side. And there we go. It is a nice light caramel color. Come on. Yeah, oops. A little dangerous there. Can I get a decent swirl? I'm sorry. With what I got, let's see what we have. She starts to tear up relatively quickly. And for those who know, the sooner it tears up, that means the less amount of sugars or thickening is in it. It takes longer for it to tear up the thicker or the more sugar residuals is still there. So we will know that this has already a light mouth feel by how fast it starts to tear. 
So it trees up relatively quickly. It has a light nose to it. You smell the bourbon, well, whiskey. And that's about it. It's a little bit of lemon, a little bit of orange. Everything is so faint, so light, and no ethanol. So if we go to the box, go to the box, it says here, toasty, spicy, complex whiskey. Matured in American oak barrels, or American oak for balanced caramel oak aromas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> I guess I can go with that. With hints of spiciness. Yeah, I guess I can go with that. Perfect for any occasion, sipped neat or mixed in a cocktail. That I find interesting. Usually I've, I have learned that depending on the whiskey, it depends on whether or not it is good just sipping by itself or whether it should be mixed in because it will add to the flavors of the other ingredients in your cocktail. Oftentimes I have found that what is a good sipping bourbon or whiskey does not blend well in a good cocktail. What's in a good cocktail is really not meant to be sipped by itself. Kind of, this is like a band that needs a support, you know, something in the band needs supporting instruments around them. Or you're just simply going to hear the, the trombone going all the time. Nothing wrong with trombones, but you know what I mean. And I'm just amazed. Absolutely amazed. This is obviously not the first glass of this I've had. And I have to tell you, it's out of a box. Box. And it's not the greatest of whiskey out there. But I'll tell you one thing. I plan on getting more. Especially for summertime. There's almost no bite to it. That bitter ethanol -y blends in with the rest of its flavors. There's a ever so light burn, just, just enough to let you know that there's alcohol in it. And if we read the box, can we still say let's read the box? It says here 40% uh, alcohol by volume, 80 proof, 1.75 liters in this sucker. So it's. It has its own kick, but it's there's no bite. There's barely a burn. The the taste. Caramels. Spicy. I'm not spicy like a little where no that's that's the alcohol biting your tongue. I mean actual spices. You taste cinnamon, you taste almost like, like a nutmeg in there. Uh the back end of stone fruit. You know, things along that line. Things, things you appreciate in a good bourbon. It's like, think of, your, of, your, of a good bourbon, light. There's almost no real body to this. So the mouthfeel comes off clean. The hang time is about medium. Uh, it's just light all in all. So I would have to say this is a good summer sipper. Now the funny part is, when I was first having this, it was just screaming Put me on ice. The problem is when you make it cold, you lose like 70% of the flavors. Didn't seem to mind it. It, it, it went well. Uh, it also wanted me to put it into a cocktail. I mean, just the, the mind playing with the flavors. Like, oh, this would be good in a cocktail. So I took and put it into a uh, cola with a little bit of vanilla. Oh, my word. It was fantastic. This is a great cocktail. This is a great sipper. And not just any kind of sipper. A summer sipper. Uh, like I said, for winter time, I believe you want something that kind of sticks to your ribs, that sort of thing. This does not. This is very light. It is almost, dare I say it, and I don't mean to offend, a woman's bourbon. Yeah, but I say it because it's light. It's got all these wonderful notes of flavor and everything. It doesn't smack you in the face. It's not like it wants to reach out of the glass and break your nose. It goes great, very light. So give it a try. See what you guys think. I'm thinking this is a fantastic summer sipper. And if it's still on, on the shelf, I definitely plan on getting more. Especially, like I said, in the summertime. This is 
of all things, Black Box Whiskey. Coming soon your way is, uh, where was it? Vodka and tequila. But uh, it is a, obviously a blend. And uh, yeah, 80 proof. But there you go. Give it a try. See what you think. Any comments? If you've tried this, any comments down below. Warmly accepted. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself, and see what you think. And until next time, keep on drinking.